Welcome into the Golden Eagle Spotlight Interviews, everybody. I'm Brett Galley. Today we're joined by Rosie Malone Pavoni of the women's soccer team. Great to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Such an amazing time right now. You girls had an amazing weekend last time in New York, winning the division in the Big East, an, an amazing accomplishment. I know you said it was such a fun time in New York, but to come home as champions, what was that like? Um, I mean, there, the feeling of that game um, was kind of a culmination of a season that's uh, been full of ups and downs and lots of hard work, which is what you want out of a season. So coming home and having that uh, goal accomplished uh, gets us focused for this weekend, which is the next big step. So Big quarterfinal matchup at Valley Fields. How much does that help being at home with the Golden Eagle faithful behind you? Oh, it's an amazing lift to have people in the stands supporting you on your field that you've uh, uh, created a lot of great moments <coughs> on. Um, the mystique of that field has still not left me in the third year. Uh, walking on that field, I still get the chills, so um, there's no better place to be. It's a really special place, and you ladies have done amazing things this season, always just having that knack to score at the perfect time. Fourteen different players have scored for the Golden Eagles this season. What do you think that's, I mean, what, what goes into fourteen different players scoring? Um, I think we all take responsibility for um, both defense and offense, and that's come through in crucial moments. Uh, we, uh, we have people who lead scoring, um, but uh, in the biggest moments, in the um, most crucial games, we have people coming out of everywhere on our team, and I think that's what really makes a team different. Um, in the past, teams like Notre Dame have had that capability, and we don't want to lean on one player because it makes it easier for the opponent to um, map out a game plan to beat us. So it's, it makes us way more dangerous. You mentioned Notre Dame, the rivalry between Marquette women's soccer and Notre Dame women's soccer is one that's been very evident in the past few seasons especially. Do you, do you have a tough time focusing on the next team when you see Notre Dame possibly meeting in the final of the Big East Championship or is it just one game at a time? Um, it Certainly you want to take one game at a time um, and when you have rivals like we do in the Big East it does make it, um, it, it is in the back of your head but uh, the beauty of the Big East is every team is amazing and um, no, no game can be overlooked. Um, so we, we'll face a good opponent on Sunday, whether it's Villanova or UConn. So we're looking forward to whoever we play. Now those teams in the Big East that you spoke of are some of the strongest in the nation. Your schedule, not even only in the conference, but on the out of season has, has just been so tough for you ladies this season, but you've handled it well. Was there a moment this season where you said, you know, this team can be something really, really spectacular? Um, early on in the season, uh, when we were um, kind of feeling ourselves out, uh, we played North Carolina, which was one, number one at the time. Um, and we came out from the first minute and really played hard. Um, in the past, we've played opponents that good, and certainly we've stayed in the game. Um, but this year, we actually, uh, I think we walked off that field disappointed that we didn't beat a team we could have beaten. Um, hats off to them, very strong program, but um, uh, we were left with a little bit of uh, an empty space from that game, but it was filled uh, a few weeks later when we played UConn, got down 2-0, um, and came back with three goals uh, and a win in overtime, and I think that really, uh, we proved to ourselves that we could play against big opponents and win, so. Well, that was a magical moment, and I think all the Marquette fans are looking for more magical moments this weekend, starting at the quarterfinals at Valley Fields of the Big East Championships. Rosie, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. On our Golden Eagle Spotlight interview. You can check out this interview and all of our interviews on MUTVSports.com and, of course, GoMarquette.com. Until next time, thanks for joining us.